Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my 2022 orb guide. So whoever clicked on this video, if you're new here, my name is Kozlix. And if you know me, I'm a Brawlhalla pro. I'm specifically a Lance main. However, I do know how to play every weapon in the game except Greatsword. I will refuse to play Greatsword. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play orb to basically a professional level. I would argue my orb is my second best weapon. So... I'm going to show you guys how to succeed with it. I'm going to be showing you guys true combos, strings, what kind of movement, what what what's, what moves are good for movement, and exactly what is optimal to go for, okay? So if any of that is going to help you, then keep watching. If it doesn't, you can leave. That's okay. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. If I missed anything in this guide, I'll pin any comment down below if it's actually something I missed and it's like some credible, you know, Incredible advice if any of you guys are you know or pros okay let's get into this uh i'm gonna be explaining just like you guys don't know what training room is um so first thing i'd recommend is pick a map and training room that is flat so i'm gonna pick small brawl haven just because it's super flat and easy and what you're gonna want to do is hit the character in the center of the screen if you can't do that go to your settings bot settings cpu and you can change and move around let's put them in the center and go back now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to player settings you're going to want to turn show damage on show stun on show hitboxes on show hurtboxes on and item spawning off in your bot settings you're going to want damage reset on and position reset on now go back to player settings and give weapon give yourself an orb okay if you don't have one already Okay, so this, what this will do is it will reset the bot every time you hit a combo. So let's say we're doing a true combo like side light side there. You do the combo and they reset back into position. You can also change like values like dodge reactions or damage and stuff like that. So we can change the situation. So like which combo to go for in what situation. But without further ado, let's get straight into the true combo. So we'll start with combos. Then I'll go for like which ones to go for, what strings to go for. Uh, like other weapons, Orb is very reactive, same with almost every weapon. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you should be doing, what you should be looking out for, especially for higher elo opponents. Low elo opponents learn the true combos, but as you get better and better, you're going to want to learn how to react and read. And those are two important things I will be going over. Let's get right into this. True combos. So in white health, all the way until like orange health, red health, the most optimal combo to go for in 1v1 is side light down light. This is one of the easiest combos in the game to hit. It's side light down light. So hitting it on a bot, it's just like that. You just side light down light. Okay, and you know it's a true combo because it doesn't show the, see it says dodge window too. When it doesn't show a dodge window, you know it's a true combo. But if you do it too slow, there will be a dodge window and it's not a true combo. A true combo is something the opponent can't dodge out of, so it's confirmed. So side light down light is a true combo. It is very important. Learn how to input this. The reason why is because this will be your string starter, okay? So if you want to build a lot of damage on orb, side light down light is really, really effective at doing that. Side light itself does 12 damage, down light does 13. That's easy 25 damage. And just for comparison, it's much safer to go for a side light than a side sig, which 15 damage on the second half. This does 10 more damage and sets up for further strings, okay? So very, very important. So learn side light, D light. After side light, down light, there are strings you can go for. So I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of them. A lot of these follow-ups kind of depend on the like, situation. I'll be going over that more in the dodges and reactions. But the next thing that I want you to learn is how to follow up. So side light, down light, and then do a jump neutral air. Jump neutral air is two dodge frames. Especially against lower elo opponents, this is a great way to build up damage safe and effectively because it also leads into more things. Side light, D light, and air. After Nair, I want you to add one more, and I want you to add a Cider. Side Light, D Light, Nair, Cider. The Cider's four dodge frames, okay? So again, this is not confirmed, but this, just practicing and learning this combo, will get you accustomed, and it will get you used to strings and following up your moves. Orb has many, many more strings that, honestly, you could also discover yourself. Uh, this video is, I don't want it to be too, too long, and I want to keep the, only the useful information, 
but when you're playing orb just kind of have fun with it see what goes into another move okay so obviously side like delight is a true combo but you got like nair uh we'll go over that true combo after but side like delight let's say you nair let's say you want to dare afterwards or like let's say you side like delight nair recovery instead of sharing there's a lot of options you can go for okay and just speaking of combos there's some other things that you can go for so another combo this works in basically white health is delight neutral air this is confirmed at early health. It works until around like mid yellow. You just D light neutral air. And it's a faster tempo than side light D light. But yeah, this is the next combo. So learn how to hit this combo. It only works when you hit the bottom part of D light. But yeah, it's a great way to build up damage because guess what? It also goes into side air or it also goes into jump recovery. There's a lot of options that you can go for, right? You can also go for another D light, right? And there's a lot of these strings. Just being able to follow up is very, very important. And I'm going to show you guys later again how to do that safe and effectively, okay? But for now, just practice using strings, but especially learn the true combos and then learn how to follow up. So D light Nair is a true combo and side light D light. And these two things will just put the opponent in a position where you can follow up with strings very easily. Other things you can do at early health are like their side light if I input it properly. One dodge turn there. I'm pretty sure you can get it true if it's like super situational. There's other weird strings and combos on orb that you can get true. Like I know like side light nair is true. I think I did a chase dodge there. But like there's a lot of like weird combos that you can do. As you saw there, I did like side light be like this. There. You can even do like dare ser or dare into side light. Like the great thing with Orb is it has a lot of flow to its kit, so you're able to kind of keep following up and just kind of have fun with it. Try some things out in training room. You can just literally just spend like 30 minutes in training room a day before you just warm up and to just like hit some combos for fun. Maybe you keep going like that and then you like chase dodge and then you recover. You see what I mean? I'm dead here. But see, you see what I mean? You can kind of keep going. It's almost like a infinite loop, almost like Scythe in a way, right? By the way, if you ever die, you just gotta respawn the orb, just settings, get weapon for it, right? So just kind of have fun with it, learn these strings, but especially learn the consistent true combo. So yeah, D light Nair, side light down light, and I'm gonna be showing you guys one more here, side light side air. And this is your most consistent true combo for killing. So if you're trying to kill on orb, side light side air is the most consistent way of doing it. It kills at a decent health, like it doesn't kill super early. Like as you can see, it didn't even kill at 160 on small bro. But if you hit it on like the side of maps and stuff like that, it's honestly really good at killing. And in twos, it's really good at hitting your opponent away very quickly and then focusing on a 2v1. So side light side air is a very, very important combo to learn. You side light and then you want to press jump and side air at the exact same time. So side light side air. I can even slow this down for you side light and then right when your side light is done you just gotta time it right you press your jump and attack button at the same time and then you want to hold sideways and it's side light side easy combo right here's another combo for you to learn it's d light side air so this is a bit more health specific so this kind of takes a bit more skill but once you get your opponent in orange health if you hit like a raw d light you can do a jump cider and it's actually a true combo and it's pretty consistent too so this is a great way to hit your opponent away maybe get an edge guard or two after but yeah down light cider if i can do it properly you have to hit it kind of specific but this is the true combo and learning these true combos it's guaranteed damage if you hit them true right if you're not hitting true combos in your game you're missing out on like guaranteed damage and it's you're honestly making a mistake when i play brahala i like to think okay what's the most optimal thing to do in this situation and it's very optimal to hit true combos and on orb and most weapons true combos stem from grounded gameplay so if it stems from grounded gameplay maybe try playing a bit more grounded in your movement right and try to punish more if you don't know what punishing is it's when you hit your opponent when they're in recovery frames maybe punish more using grounded attacks right so stuff like that is just very important to think about and just be kind of self-critical like understand okay why am i getting hit how can i hit them more and just think of those mistakes but for now d light cider true combo side light d light true combo Delight Nair, true combo. These are the fundamental true combos 
of ore. Okay, and yeah, just test out those strings, kind of have fun with it. There's a lot of like other strings you can do. Like end light, side light is a string. I'm pretty sure you can get it true as well, very situationally. You can do like D light, neutral light. Not much use case for this because you can just nair, but sure, honestly. D light, neutral light. You can't really D light, stare that easily in white, if not at all. D light, D light works sometimes on weird maps. I don't really know a reason to go for that. You could like D light, I don't know. Can you D light there? Sure, seven dog trains. Have fun with it, but I would go for the true combos. Delight like Nair is true, Delight like Sarah is true, etc, etc. And then once you're done hitting the true combos, kind of have fun with Strix. Okay, now in the video, I'm going to be talking to you guys exactly how do you hit these strings. Because strings are combos that are dodgeable or jumpable. Uh, or, or both. So, what you're going to want to do on Orb is you're going to want to hit a true combo, and then you're going to want to wait. And you're going to want to see what your opponent does, and you're going to want to punish. And what I mean by that, or not punish, but like catch, catch dodge reactions. So what I like to do when I want to work on reacting is I will go to settings and I will change the bot's AI to have a dodge reaction. And I like to set it to random. Reading in this game, it, it can be really good, but really good players do not dodge the same very often. Noticing dodges are great, but when you're playing a ton of ranked and you want to gain elo, it's really safe and effective to react. This is what Sandstorm does best. It's waiting for your opponent to do something stupid, like a dumb dodge, and then hitting them because they can't dodge away. So on Orb, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side light delight. Let's see where he, like what happens. Let's reposition, and then you kind of try and hit them, right? See what I mean? So like Nair is a great tool of catching dodge reactions. So side light, be light, Nair, Sair. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna show you more. The bots are bad. Side light, be light. Let's wait. He spot dodged recovery, Nair recovery, and you see how I got two extra confirmable hits because of that. Okay, I just missed the two combo. I am bad. He dodged down. I side light, Sair. You see what I mean? I turn up Nared. Like, look at that. I got all that damage from one dodge. And because I know the strings after that. So I'm up. But same with that right there. I sidelighted. I missed my follow-up. I saw him dodge down, and then I sidelighted. So set the bot to random and go for these true combos. So I hit the true combo. Wait, he dodged down. I go to a punish. You know what I mean? Side light, D light, he dodge up, Nair, recovery, and then you can keep going because they don't have a dodge. Look at that, it's confirmed damage. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you hit a true combo or you hit an attack that you don't have a true combo follow up. So, let's say I hit a raw neutral light, okay? I know I don't have a true combo after neutral light. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna wait. You can put yourself in a better position if you want to, but you don't throw out an attack. See what your opponent does, and then react. So I neutral light. Let's see what the Scarlet does. Dash is in, and then I go for a punish. I missed that punish, but still. Let's end light. Let's see what my opponent does. Dash the way. Great thing with end light is it keeps them on the ground, so it's really hard for them to dodge away. They can only really spot dodge or dash. So end light, dodge is up, and then I kind of went for something, but I went. But you saw that he dodged away, and then I go for a side light cider. Let's say I hit a, a D light Nair. He dodged down, I went for a dare, I should have side lighted after that. Uh, let's say I go for a down air. He dodged up, I should have D lighted. Down air, easy. And I dashed a bit forward to reposition myself. Let's say I go for a dare, miss that reaction. And I'm not great at this either. However, this is something that's really important to learn. Because catching dodges in the future of Brawlhalla and the current state of Brawlhalla is key to improving. So do an attack that doesn't have a true combo follow-up. So hit a true combo until you can't. Wait to see what your opponent does. And then react to it. And then hit a string. And, and, and so how you do this is you learn the true combos. You learn strings out of your moves. So 
learning the follow-ups after orb down air or orb neutral air and you do this by just fooling around in the training room and then also just playing a lot of Barhalla. And third, you want to practice your reactions. Dodge reads are great, but reactions are what win game win games consistently. So uh, yeah, this is this is honestly what I do as a pro, and you see right there, like I caught that reaction and I almost got a get because of it. And like this, it's different, right? Like I could end light on the ground and then I can like dash forward and then like pivot side light. And there's a lot of ways to use movement to follow your opponent. And this is where I'm going to get to the last thing on movement. Orb has a lot of moves that keep momentum. So I could do like a dash side air like this, dash neutral air, uh, dash down air, right? I could even like dash turn around there or like dash turn around down air. It kind of stalls me a bit, but maintaining a lot of momentum is very important. So I really recommend if you don't know how to do this, use dash jumps dashes like dash dancing jump fast falls the goal and what you'll see in competitive play is players are constantly moving you don't want to be standing still because if you stand still it's a lot easier for your opponent to hit you but when you do attacks where you're moving while you're in recovery frames no one's going to be punishing this and it's a great way to bait your opponent and then to catch them whipping a punish and it's also a great way to learn how to follow up, right? Like, let's say I do this neutral light. Let's see where Scarlet dodges. Scarlet dashes in. So what then I'm going to do is I know I can dash and then pivot. So I'm going to dash, which I do here. And then I see the Scarlet's coming in. I can react. So then I side light. And you see that it pivots almost immediately. And then I catch the side light. So reacting is just so important. And I can show this in training room too. Like... Let's say I hit a Nair Ser. Okay. I am going to, let's say, move a bit. Let's do like a jump forward just to reposition myself. Let's see what the Scarlet does. Scarlet dodges in. Maybe I go for a down air. Obviously, this is theoretical because this is like inhuman reaction time. But you see, you see this. And then I hit a down air. All because I reacted in time. That's inhumane. But even if you can't react that quickly, and I do here, let's say I do another jump. Now I can react. So let's say I go downwards and then I down here. And I'm still reacting. They don't have a dodge. So it's very important to just practice your reactions know what covers where which is spacing which honestly you can't really practice spacing it's just something you'd learn over time just knowing where your moves hit um, by practicing true combos and strings and just performing them is how you'll get better but yeah it's hit a true combo position yourself or stand still whatever catch their reaction and then reposition yourself so you can attack them i could even make a flow chart if this really makes sense but you get what i mean and this is the key to building damage neutral you hit them for as much as you can true let them do something stupid which is a bad dodge reposition yourself and then punish so i'll, I'll even do it in real time here side light d light just like that i do a side light down light here i see them react and then i went for something the, the bot, the training room bot's stupid, but I think you guys get what I mean at this point. If you're still confused, I can comment down below. This pattern that I'm teaching you guys of hit a true combo, position yourself, react, and hit a string, this applies to basically every weapon in the game. But on orb, those true combos are different, and that's why I'm making this video. And also, how you react is different. A lot of the times, you can react and hit a string, but it can't be infinite like Scythe, right? Scythe is so good at you can keep going even when you take a dodge. Orb has that ability as well, not to the same degree as Scythe, but much better than weapons like Sword or Hammer or Lance or Axe. Lance is actually really good at that, but like Axe or Hammer, right? You can kind of keep going in a lot of these situations. So learn your orb strings, it's really important. Learn your orb true combos. Practice movement options. If you want a movement guide, that will be coming to the channel soon. So hit the subscribe 
Guys, if you learned something new from this video, hit that subscribe as well. Uh, I love you guys. If you want more guides, stay tuned because a ton are coming. See you in the next video. Peace.